Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson 4 here to bring us more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, and also welcome to game number 10 of the season. The final game of the season will determine if I get a first round buy in the playoffs or not. If I lose, I have to play from the wild card. So let's win this one. Hopefully, I win it, and uh, let's finish the season strong. And by the way, I'm carrying a lot of momentum at this point because from game number eight, you know, I was pretty much upset that uh, we won that game zero to zero, even though it's a free pass towards the playoffs still like I don't want the season to be like this. I don't want to win games like that with disconnections or just quit. No, I want to win games with touchdowns. That's what I want. But game number eight was really much of an upset. I really want to win that game so badly and just quitting on me like that is just put my momentum down so now I'm taking it out on the last two teams so I can build up my momentum back it's just that I just can't take a free win like that I just can't I'd rather play the guy so we're gonna take it on the last two teams pretty much showing the last game because we won 21 to 7 the last touchdown from that game was from Robinson now that one I, I wasn't planning I was just planning to run down the clock but he ended up scoring a touchdown with those three jukes that he pulled off it was kind of kind of crazy right there so uh, we ended up winning 21 to 7 we ended up taking out our defensive fear on my opponent so um moving on to this game now my key players were Jason McCourty of course the newly signed cornerback he is just doing great he just zone covered that last interception he just got he just zone covered pretty good he went from his side to the middle in order for him to get that interception just go back watch that play and you're able to see why he got that interception he just got out from his own coverage to go to the middle so he was a great sign up and on my offense my key player as you can see on the screen that's the main guy he's the main man he's the big man in my offense he's running those counters those halfback misdirections like a boss look at him go nice blocking from my offensive lineman nice blocking from my tight end and he took it all away. So now the score is seven to zero. My opponent, his key players were, I think it only was, uh, Peyton Manning. That's his only great player he had. His receivers not that pretty much of a big deal. He only had Reggie Wayne as the best one. The other ones I don't know who they were. And uh, right there we ended up uh, getting another pick with Jason McCourty, user pick by the way. So his grade so far is an A minus. He is passing and so far he's proving that he's one of the best corners out there. So good job, Jason McCourty. Back in offense, Demarius Thomas was out for the rest of the quarter. So there was like only 40 seconds to go, so no big deal. Ended up running like a wheel route with the running back right there, number 16, making his presence known. Nobody open and he ends up sacking me. Now it's third and 21. 14 seconds to go, nothing's going on. Hopefully a miracle catch. No, nothing. Brandon Marshall, come on, man. You're like six foot five. You can't catch that thing. Come on. Just jump all the way up there. We need a guy with spectacular catch. Hopefully we can get Odell Beckham Jr. as soon as possible or at some point. So, uh, anyways, end of the first half. Now we're moving to the second half, third quarter. Ended up receiving the ball. Nothing going on in that curl route. I was expecting too much of it, so that's why the pass was incomplete. I ended up putting the ball into one. He ends up converting the goddamn first down. I was really surprised because I have a lot of run stuff on my defense. But it, I think it did show that my defense is kind of weak right now at this point. Because my defensive linemen, they need to get upgraded. Those defensive tackles, I think believe only one of them is good. Which is Halori Nada? Or who is it? Who's my other DT? I forgot who's my other DT. Marcel Darius? One is Darius, which is like 88 overall, and then the other one's Halori Nada at 86. If I can get Gerald McCoy or Mar the other Marcel Darius or William uh, William the Fridge, I'm pretty sure my run stuff is going to go even higher and it's going to be even more powerful at goal lines and those situations like the one yard line. So my next target has to be a DT, man. It just has to. I have to stop those runs. I don't want any bullshit going on like that. So. Anyways, we ended up back in offense, 7-0, third and four. Ended up converting with uh, C.J. Anderson, of course. Nice run by him. A little counter to the right side. C.J. Anderson yet again. A face mask happened. This was, that's what happened. Just to keep an eye on the right corner, as you can see. Face mask. Now it's first and goal. Doug Martin taking it for a touchdown out of the ISO and the I-formation. I was surprised because I never run the ISO out of the I-formation at all. I was, I was surprised. Really surprised. So moving on to the defense, Antonio Cromartie, 83 overall, still making picks, still doing zone coverage. Even though he only has like around 81 zone coverage, he's doing great. He's perfect for that one-on-one -on -one situation, man. He has like more man coverage than zone coverage, so I don't know how he's still pulling it off. I just don't. 
And by the way, Robinson again. Look at this. Look look at the timer. I wanted to run on the clock, but he never got tackled, so I ran it all the way. So I was like, what the fuck do you... <laughs> Robinson is really trying so hard, man. I'm not... I wasn't trying to score. I was trying to run on the clock. So if you ask me right now, like, why is Robinson doing that? I don't know. It's, it's, it's him. <laughs> I'm just moving the analog stick towards the right side so I can get tackled and run on the clock, but he just decides to run it all the way. That guy's a rule breaker, man. I should probably use him in the fourth quarter when it comes down to the playoffs because that guy is clutch at some points. So, we end up winning the game, guys. First round by, let's do this. We're going to win that Super Bowl for sure. Can't wait. And uh, by the way, I, I need to sign him on Sanders Hustle. I'm looking forward to that guy because we need a better slot than Cordell Patterson. So that I said, guys, subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more Madden 15 Ultimate Team and also if you guys like some parts of the video, leave a like on the video.